again, and he's consented to answer questions phoned in by you emotionally disturbed listeners. Doctor, it's, uh, it's good to see you again. Well, I'm afraid your perception of good as opposed to evil is only a subjective judgment in this case. Why would you feel that seeing me is intrinsically good? Well, I hadn't actually analyzed my feelings. I just wanted to make you feel welcome. So I said it's good to see you. Now, our first call is coming in. Uh, so just a moment. I think we're achieving a breakthrough in your case. Do you often attempt to curry favor with others by telling them it's good to see them? I'm not trying to curry favor. I hardly even know you. Now, if you to please pick up they the phone. See there? When you let your real emotions show through, you feel quite hostile to me. I'm not hostile. Now pick up the bloody phone. Oh, very well, very well. But if it's good to see me, I don't know why you carry on this way. Hello, you're on the air with Dr. Chesney. Hello? I need your help, Dad, Doc. I've just taken a job in a large city for the first time, and I panic every time I have to go up to my office on the 28th floor. Yes, that's acrophobia. No, it's Philadelphia. But I think I'd feel the same on a tall building anywhere. Yes, I'm sure you would. Condition causes you to hyperventilate. Not me. In fact, they uh, can't even open the windows of these dope buildings. The air conditioning just comes on automatically. I see. Well, can you describe the symptoms that you're feeling right now? Oh, I feel pretty good right at the moment. Excellent, excellent. Then, even though you haven't understood anything I said, it appears that talking out your problem has cured you. Yeah, either that or I feel good now because I'm calling from a payphone on the ground floor. Well, we never know exactly why a psychological cure takes place, but it's the result that counts. Now, let's move along to another caller in need. <laughs> Hello, you're on the air with Dr. Chesney. Hello, Doctor. I'm in a frazzle because I have the same terrible dream every night. It's about my husband eating crackers in bed. I see. Well, what happens uh, in this recurring dream? Not much. My dream that he starts coughing on the cracker crumbs. So he has to get up and get a drink of water. Sometimes he even leaves the room to go check the thermostat on the heater. Madam, this doesn't sound eventful enough to be a bad dream. I think you're probably awake when you hear your husband eating crackers in bed every night. Well, I don't know. I've strictly forbidden him to do that, so I assume I must be dreaming. No, well, I think he's defying your orders, so you try to tell yourself it's just a dream. My George, I'll bet you're right. But if it's all real, then I wonder what's become of those blue elephants I always see sitting on the foot of his bed. Well, I'm sure there's a logical explanation. You'll be able to figure it out for yourself now that I've cleared your mind of your main problems. So we'll have to move along to the final caller. Uh, hello, you're on the air with Dr. Chesney. Hello. Well, I just need one quick answer, Doc. Is it nutty? I have a terrible fear of stepping on a crack on the sidewalk. Yes, it's extremely nutty. Oh, well, okay. Probably goes back to that silly rhyme we all heard in childhood. Step on a crack, break your mother's back, you know. I never heard that before. Well, it's not important. I think it's finally important. Gee, now that you've told me that, I'll probably be afraid to walk on the sidewalk at all. I'll never walk again. Well, staying in the house certainly would solve your problem. You'll feel less anxiety, and your mother will be out of the uh, constant danger you've been putting her in. So I'm pleased I could help the both of you. And now this is Dr. Merton Chesney signing off by wishing you all good luck and good emotional stability. <laughs> And that old theme song means another swiftly paced, laugh packed half hour has gone into the history books and we got to wrap it up for today. Our thanks to Larry Josephson, who developed and produced the Bob and Ray Show for the Radio Foundation. And to his associate producer, Lars Howell, who in his spare time likes to collect old shoe polish cans and butterflies. Paul Talman, whose interest in furniture and the preservation of water, was at the organ. And Al Schaefer, who provided sound effects, will do the same thing next week. Technical director, David Glass. Assisting with engineering, Marty Newman, Miles Smith, and Jay Newman. Today's program was recorded at Howard Schwartz Studios, New York City. It's a real funny thing to say. And production assistants, Bill O'Neill and Charles Whitson. Funding, in part, is from the National Endowment for the Arts and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting through NPR's Satellite Program Development Fund. And now this is Ray Goulding reminding you to write if you get work. And Bob Elliott reminding you to hang by your thumbs. <laughs> This program was independently produced by the Radio Foundation.
Bob and Ray CDs can be purchased online at the Bob and Ray website, bobandray.com. That's B-O-B-A-N-D-R-A-Y.com. Or by calling 1-800-LAUGH-24. That's 1-800-L-A-U-G-H-24. Are you struggling with your weight? Listen closely. This might change your life. I'm Wendy Friesen, a clinical hypnotherapist, and I have an amazing hypnosis method to stop the struggle with food and the emotional eating and the sabotage. My video program, The Zen of Thin, guides you to heal emotional issues that are the real cause of your weight problem. Diets don't work. You know that you need to look inside of yourself to find the real reasons. It's called The Zen of Thin. Release your emotional struggle using the power of hypnosis. You get the video, the CDs, and a free private hypnotherapy session with someone you can trust. You've seen the Zen of Thin on TV. It works. I guarantee it. Wake up tomorrow excited to exercise, eating healthy because you want to. Feel in control. It will happen to you. Call me at 877-68-HAPPY or on the web at zenofthin.com. Just type in zenofthin.com and find out for yourself how easy it is. Call me at 877-68-HAPPY. Open your mind before you open your mouth. Hispanic sports fans, this is Andres Cantor with great news for you. Because of number 15, you will be able to keep up to date of all your favorite sports in XM Deportivo Channel 147. From soccer to baseball to boxing, XM Deportivo will have it all. Two dedicated shows from Mexico and soccer from Latin America on XM's new sports channel in Spanish. XM Deportivo coming to you August 15th. Cinemagic XM27 presents another real-time special. This time, Dave Z talks to musician composer Danny Elfman about his illustrious career from his early days in the Mystic Nights of Boingo Boingo to his ongoing career as one of today's top composers of such movie soundtracks as Batman, Edward Scissorhands, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This special airs Friday, August 5th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time with an encore Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern on Cinemagic XM27. This is most immediate constable. XM Sonic Theater presents Detective Stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 